This is my favorite Apple device, and here's why. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another video. This time it is all about the iPad mini. Now, if you're joining us for the very first time, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. So the iPad mini has now become my favorite Apple device. And you guys know I, at least you've been watching for the on the channel for a while, is that I don't have a lot of Apple devices that I truly like as much. And this has hit the mark. It is a 10 inch tablet. This is the sixth generation iPad mini. In terms of design though, it feels really comfortable and nice. Now I've got it in the purple color and I've also got the purple case here. It's just a very nice look to it. Now granted, it's got thicker bezels than I would like, but I think it, they still done a really good job. Now, just looking at the device overall, we've got quad speakers. And oh my God, that is a great experience to game, listen to music and audio with that. Anyway, just, just listen to it. Yeah, it sounds really good and I wish more devices will have multiple speakers on them, whether it's tablets or even smartphones. I'd like to see just a better audio experience altogether. Now, the way your iPad mini is structured is you have the power button, which also doubles as your fingerprint sensor. And honestly, I have missed this on the iPhone and I am glad to see it here. I like the setup, even though it felt a little bit off that the volume keys are also on the top but it makes sense when you're watching things, of course, in landscape mode. Now, why do I really like this device so much? Well, it's a couple of things. First of all, it's a very easy device to travel or just take with you on the go. So whether you are just, uh, you know, heading out a day in the city, you wanna put this in your backpack, you can. I've seen Tom the Tech Chap put this in his back pocket of his jeans. I don't know what kind of jeans he has. This, it's got big pockets like that, but, it seems like you can do that, um, but it's very easy to carry around with you anywhere, whether you're sitting on the couch or whether you're sitting in front of the camera like I am, it, it's very comfortable. Now I've got larger hands, so this is really nice. And Daniel said is because I have larger hands, this is why I like the iPad mini. And that might be the case. But that being said though, the comfort and ease of use is great. Now the other aspect of course for me is gaming. And this is where the iPad mini truly shines. Uh, in terms of gaming, you've got a larger real estate. Now, some would say, hey, look, Thunder E, the iPad, you know, the Air, the iPad Pro, all of them have bigger real estates for gaming. That is very true, but honestly, once you start getting bigger, I might as well just go to a monitor or a TV and game in just a much larger space. This is something that I can take with me anywhere in game. So even if I'm holding it in my hands and using touch controls, I can do that very comfortably with the iPad mini. I can also use it with the case and set it down and game uh, with a controller. Now I've got my scuff controller here and it was great to actually play games on Xbox Game Pass using the iPad mini. Very simple and very easy process. Now you would probably ask, what about gaming performance? This has the A15 chipset in there. What kind of performance am I getting? So we played a ton of games, but the one game I want to show you some of the performance benchmarks, of course, is Genshin Impact. Now, I played Genshin at 60 frames per second, extreme settings, everything maxed out. And I played for around 30 minutes, and honestly, this was just a sight to behold. It ran at 59 frames per second, basically 60 FPS constantly for 30 minutes. There was not a single drop. It just ran and it ran and it ran, which means to me that this can do definitely more than 60 FPS. Uh, it's just capped and limited here on the system. Now, that was great to see because on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I still had a Genshin Impact dip down to 42 frames per second. So those numbers were great to see. Now, in terms of temperatures, Honestly, there was no need to measure temperatures, even though I did, because it ran warm at best. So you're looking at something at like 
32 degrees Celsius, 33, uh, about 95 degrees Fahrenheit in that range. I mean, it, it, it was just great. Now that's because of course you've got a larger area within the iPad mini uh, for cooling. And also again, uh, the, it also has five GPU cores, it's just more efficient. It was just a great experience. Now, the other thing, of course, is a lot of people use their iPads for entertainment use, right? Whether you're watching content, you're watching Netflix, whether it's on the couch, on the bus, on the train, wherever you are, it is easy to consume content on this. It's big enough for real estate. It looks sharp. The display is vibrant. It's a very easy thing to just have, you know, as a tablet in your hand, whether you're holding one hand or two, that you can actually consume your content. Now, the last part I really like about the iPad mini is iPad OS. Now, iOS is something that I'm still getting used to in, in many respects, but I think iPad OS really fits the gambit and works well. Very smooth in terms of just navigating through. I also like the fact that, you know, your docked applications, you do have a section just on the right where you have your current apps that you just opened recently, the last four apps, uh, and that's a very nice touch. Of course, you've got multitasking there, but everything feels like it flows properly. Yeah, it's hard to explain other than when you start using it, you think, oh, this is how a tablet should work. And honestly, look, Google, pay attention. I mean, you've had enough chance to pay attention. This is something you should just honestly copy some of the just uniqueness of it so that you can actually make your tablets better. And or maybe actually I should just tell Samsung because you're the only guys who make better tablets on Android. But it feels very comfortable. I like the fact that the app drawer now feels more like an app tray to me. Uh, just coming from Android, it really feels nice and comfortable to use. So in terms of battery life, you're looking at just a great experience with the iPad mini. It's honestly fantastic. I mean, Apple does a really good job with battery life on their, on their tablets, and this is no exception. Plus, you, they have a very good standby mode. And in my use case, I charged it twice in the last four or five days I've had it, and it's been solid. I think overall though, guys, I think this is a great tablet and honestly, the best device that Apple has made. My own humble opinion. If you disagree, let me know. Um, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.